Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate it. Music with Todd Ledbetter here. And we are going to introduce a new band to the channel. Not a new band. But uh, this band is called Airbag. And this was a recommendation from a longtime subscriber um, on the channel. And, um, you know, if you're not recommending songs, then, uh, you know, you're, you're not... You're not having as much fun as you could with the channel because this whole channel is run on your recommendations 99.9% .9 of the time. So, uh, you know, if you're not seeing what you really want out of this channel, then you're not recommending songs. So I encourage you to do that, you know, always. Every video on my Ko-Fi, on my Patreon, or in the comments. Uh, those are three places, not to mention others, that you could recommend songs that I would easily see them. And I try my best to uh, save all the recommendations and get to them. I will admit I'm a little behind on some of these, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting to them. And uh, let's get into it. So Airbag, as we were saying, this is from their 2011 uh, release called All Rights Removed. And the last song on this six song, 49 minute, 59 second album is called Homesick. Okay, so that's where we're at. Now this has been played over 2 million times on Spotify, uh, way over double in any of the the next closest one. But and this thing is a 17 minute and 21 second epic so for that to be like the biggest song on an album being 17 minutes and 21 seconds to me that says something so let's get right into it and see what this is all about that's a video looks like maybe hope it doesn't get blocked I guess it's not a video. It's funny how my life just falls apart. That's not funny. I slept through days and nights like a perfect prince. Then it came crashing through the wall. Of lies and silence in my hair. It's time to go before we came. And I know that we can't stay the same. After all this time You find your faith is fading But it's time to go Before we can And it only takes a second
good so far. I like it. I like that Evo. I like the use of the wall.
like that the bass is nice and present. Really driving this song. That was a really cool suite. Uh, uh, that motif there was really, really awesome. Still is. Great sounds. Guitars and guitars is killing it on the song. Nice transition. That was sweet.
Isn't that bass is cool? Guitar's giving us a different look, even at the very end. I just realized this guy's jump on the uh, album cover. Let me give it back to you. It is jumping off a bridge. I didn't notice that at first. There he is. This dude's jumping off a bridge. Okay, that was killer. Okay, that is that kind of music right there is totally up my alley. And for so many reasons. It was sim it was it was simpler in its musical composition as far as the chords, the progressions, two chord swings, you know, back and forth toggling and then a nice transition into some special chord, you know. Uh, but but even something simple like that can be extraordinarily complicated. And that comes in with the players and their proficiency and their creativity. That was beautifully done. That was be very, very kind of... Uh, you know, Pink Floyd elements to it, you know, in, in some in some respects. Um, but super great. The vocals were great. I really liked the vocals a lot, you know, and in a 17 minute song, I could I could have listened to more. But there was so much melody going on with the instrumentation that, you know, it it was fine. It was totally fine. But I really did like the vocals. It was the melody was good. His voice was great. And uh you know, lyrically, it seemed kind of, you know, smart and not just something trivial or whatever. Um, but that that guitar player was just fabulous. He had I don't know how many guitar players there are in this band. So but there was multiple shades of guitar in that song for sure through the whole thing. And they blended into each other and hard you know, nice distortion, just power chord stuff to just uh, real intricate. Uh, well, there was the acoustic guitar that was very prominent for mo half of the song, at least, well, a lot of the song in the beginning. And, you know, that strumming pattern was simple, but it just built on that and it became so, so much more. The drums were fantastic. Some not overly played, kind of like Pink Floyd, but very well placed drum rolls and, uh, uh, you know, musically, dr the drums were played very, very smartly. 
and the bass was super present. I love that because, you know, sometimes it's just a boom, you know, but it's it's loud enough to be able to make you feel the importance of that note, you know, and then all of a sudden he'll just do this really cool little run. This is like, oh, oh, oh that because you're not hearing the bass like that. And all of a sudden he just kind of comes out with a like a, a measure of a cool lick. And it just really stands out to me as a bass player. Where's my bass? It's over there. Up there. And uh, so vocals, drums, guitar, guitar, bass, the keyboards are fantastic. Super, super mood invoking. So many different beautiful scenes were set uh, with the guitar or with the keyboards. Just as I was saying that, though, I was thinking, man, but that lead guitar. That's why I said guitar, because I was thinking guitar. I'm thinking ahead or something. I was just thinking, but I really like that lead guitar, that sort of Gilmore-esque sort of lead, you know, just kind of mellow and slow and kind of meandering but very purposeful and each note just is the perfect note you know that it couldn't be played any other way you know that was the perf those were the perfect notes just like david gilmore uh that was impressive to me you know i really like that kind of playing i actually strive to play a little bit like that myself i don't have the greatest dexterity especially playing guitar in my left hand so I like to play slow and melodic, you know, and and that he's I'm kind of inspired by that style of playing because I'll never be a shredder. So I although I like shredders, you know, I mean, my last name is Ledbetter. Some people might say. Shredder, Led Shredder. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody would say that. <laughs> Stupid. Anyways, great guitar stuff. That's a fantastic song. You know, I think. Like I said, I, I'm a little bit behind on some of my re recommendations because I save all of them as I get them. And then all of a sudden I've got, a, you know, a whole stack of, of YouTube videos recommended in my watch later list. And I don't uh, recognize some of the names of the bands like this one is brand new to me. I never heard it before. Airbag. And it's kind of one of those stupid name bands, which I've talked about sometimes, you know, how we sometimes hear a name of a band and it just like kind of, uh, I don't, air, airbag, what's that make me think of? It makes me think of a car accident, you know, uh, I don't know. And, you know, it's a little bit of that syndrome going on with me. I'm trying to overcome it with your help. I should get through it. Uh, yeah, so uh, now airbag's fine. I like, I, you know, I heard the song. I love the song. I'm 10 out of 10. I mean, I give that song wow, high marks. Super good. And uh, Airbag doesn't seem that stupid to me anymore because it's like, I don't know, air. It's, it's got the word air in it. It was kind of spacey and floaty. I don't know. Just all of a sudden makes sense. Who knows? Uh, I mean, my band's called Turning Trees for heaven's sakes. Turning Trees. Yeah. Go listen to it on Spotify. Um, great, great band. Thank you for the recommendation. It's really nice. I wonder what the rest of that album sounds like. I'm very curious. I am very curious. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to help out the channel, you can go over to Ko-Fi or uh, Patreon just by clicking. It's, in, it's all over in the description, up on the banner of my main page, my homepage. Uh, you can get there or down in the comments too. You can recommend songs, but uh, let me know what you thought of this band. If it was, if it's the kind of music that uh, interests you as well. And, and if it is, do you know this band and do you recommend other songs from this band? Love to hear from you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. It's been kind of a long video because it was a long song and I appreciate it. If you stuck around this long, you guys are awesome. Take care now. Uh Oh, push the wrong button. Hang on. Are you still here? Oh, you are still here.